Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome to today's video. So today's video, I'm gonna share with you guys what I got my daughter, who she's going to kindergarten this year. And this is actually my first time shopping for school supply for my kids. I've done done it for myself before, but I was it was a long time ago, and I have no idea what they need in kindergarten. But I got the stuff that she will be needing during the school time at home and her school probably doesn't need anything because they have everything at the school and she doesn't even need to carry a backpack so she doesn't have to get anything for her school but she will have this item at home for her to help do her homework her projects and whatever even though she doesn't use it they are very useful even from for my two-year-old so they are very versatile and I hope you guys get some idea so everything I got today that didn't cost a lot including the clothes all the supplies it was about 200 to 250 dollars and I think it was a pretty good deal and if you watched my previous video we vlogged that we were going to shopping and first thing we went to was Walmart and I think it was very smart because I've stopped, stopped by Target before and I've seen a lot of cute stuff but I feel like they were a little bit more expensive than Walmart so I was able to buy all the supplies like pencils and pens all that stuff whole thing cost me $50 at Walmart so I'm gonna start with um, her backpack and lunchbox bag now I didn't know she didn't need a backpack her school requires her to hold a folder, not a backpack, but I, I didn't know, so I got it. Got her this unicorn backpack from the Skip Hope. I, I saw it when she was little, and I, I couldn't wait to get her this one. And I thought it was the perfect size, and they really light, and I think it's really cute. And also it comes with this, I mean it has this lunch bag, uh, unicorn lunch bag. Currently Sophie's been uh, obsessed with unicorn rainbows. So we decided to go with a unicorn lunch bag and unicorn backpack even though she doesn't need it but I'm sure she can use it for something else. For the school supply, the things that I've got from Walmart. First, I got this. Um, Clorox, when your kids start going to school, you will need this every every single time. You need to be cleaning all the time because they just transfer or bring a lot of germs. So was, this was a really good deal. I think it was $4.95 or $5 at Walmart, four of them. I'm sure I'm going to use it for a long time. And I got them this um, color pencil, 50 pieces. They had this 10 pieces for like two, was it? I think it was less than a dollar like 10 pieces of them but uh, it had only 10 different colors and we wanted multiple different colors so we got the 50 pieces um, coloring pencil and then we also got this 96 colors crayon um, it has six little packs um, has all different colors so I like to have multiple colors so I got this one and then I also got some washable markers. I got two of them uh, because Zoe, Sophie, my kids usually fight over stuff. So I, I had to buy the same two washable markers. Wash, washable markers are a must if you have little kids. And then I got a bunch of pencils. Now I know school uses pencils a lot. We use pencils a lot at home. So I got this colorful um, mechanical pencils and then I also got this orange pencil and I know they are very very useful and we need it we we always need them at home and we don't have enough and I got two washable school glue they were two for a dollar something it was very cheap and then I got two glue stick for their projects and then I got two blue and black pencil package. They were very cheap. Um, ten colors on top of three bonus colors. And I know we can use this a lot. I also got a highlighter for Sophie for her school. And then I got a 
bunch of razors and then I also got two um, watercolors just for them to do some arts and projects and I got this little rulers we have the big one I know Sophie's not gonna use it for a while so I got the little one that she can use and I got one scissors for Sophie and two uh, index card like a flash card thing I'm, I'm sure they can use this a lot especially memorizing letters and numbers and I got this mini hole punch I know I can use this a lot because uh, when she comes home with some project and pictures and homework thing I can um, like um, make a hole and then put them in a the binder because I know we end up having lots and lots of papers at home so um, hole puncher hole punch and um, I also got these two types of paper now I don't know what kind of notebook they use I don't know if they even need a notebook but I just got these two type of uh, paper it has a hole so you can use them on the binders I thought like we can use it at home for I don't know anything and we got this little tape we do have extra tapes that you can you put it inside like we have a box of them so I got this pink one just in case if they need it um, that was it from Walmart now I went to Daiso this that's a little Japanese store they sell everything is $1.50 there it's like a Japanese dollar store in California and they have so many cute stuff so I got a little notebook for her I don't know if she's gonna use it or not but um, she wanted to get this little notebook and then I got two um, drawing paper like art paper that they can do painting or they can draw whatever they want to do we usually buy the big ones but I found out that they're really hard to store so I ended up getting two small ones and then I also got this kind of binders now we do need the three three ring binder for school but I couldn't find a cute one I saw a lot of like white ones but I wanted to get some kind of colored one so I'm gonna probably go to Target and find out some binders but I got this kind of binder box thingy for her so I can save her projects or things that they she've done and I don't want to throw them away I want to keep them here so I got three of these for her school and then I got this little colored pen that she can use for school and then I got some clips we got two different color of clips and also got some like pink clips I know they, they, they use it at school they can need it during during school time I didn't want to just go out buy all the time like every time when I do something oh we need this we need that so I thought it would be hard to um, remember so I just decided to get all of those and I also got this uh, painting palette thingy because we have this um, big paints that are in a bottle so we need some kind of palette and then I got some um, sticky notes has this cute shape um, I thought they were really cute and then I got some colored sticky notes they are more like a clear and then they're like smaller so you can put them in a book and um, I don't know in a small area and I also got some bookmarks there are magnetic bookmarks I thought they're so cute and got some erasers that are shaped like scissors and all that cute stuff I feel like the Japanese store always have the cutest thing like I can't stop buying but so we got a bunch of those and I also got some pencil boxes so at, at home let me show you so those are the drawers that I'm gonna put her all pencils and pens and I need to be careful with it because Zoe can reach there or if we put something on the uh, table I know she can reach and destroy everything so I'm gonna put all the pens and pencils 
markers and everything I'm gonna put it in here and then put them in a drawer so I got three of these these were 99 cents at the Walmart so I got three of these and then I got two of this um, pencil case which has the binder so I can put the pen pencil here and a pen here and then you know close them and keep them together so I got two of these and then from Target these were something that I bought um, about a couple weeks ago because I really liked it and this is little um, pencil sharpener I thought it was really cute you just turn it and then um, sharpen your pencil and I also got this lunchbox notes I know Sophie can't read but I can like draw and put something on I thought it would be really cute and then I got this pencil case which now I know she doesn't need so I don't know if I'm, I can use it for my, my makeup if not I don't know maybe I'll return it but I think it's really cute it's like this rubbery kind of like material it's so bright and so pretty I kind of wish I was in school now but so that was it for her, her school supplies about her lunchbox so as I said she has one lunchbox so far but I'm gonna I, I have the bigger one I couldn't find it it's uh, from it's it has the trolls picture but it's much thicker and a little bit bigger than this so I can fit like a bowl like bigger containers but so far I got um, couple lunch box for Sophie so this is the first one um, I'm really excited about this one because it has already it has the eyes in there and it has the dividers so if you open it it has dividers you can you know put the snacks and food and like that and then it comes with these two eyes you can just close them and keep the lunch cold now I'm gonna use this if she's having like sandwich or some kind of cold uh, lunch, it doesn't need to be warm. Um, I also got this lunch box from Daiso. They were only dollar fifty, and um, I thought it, it could be a good box for a food. Like I don't know, I wanted to have multiple lunch boxes in order to have like depending on what kind of food I'm making because I just I don't want to make sandwich all the time so I wanted to have a variety of choices so I can make I don't know something interesting and fun for her and I, I'm so so excited to prep her lunch and this is this little lunch box that I got from Daiso and then I also got her like bunch of snack container so it does have two ices on top and it says snack container sometimes I feel like I can use it for food for all for her, all her lunch so I don't know I think it'll be a really cute idea I got this cute little rice thingy from Japan Japanese market it's like like little this thing I think you, you put the rice and in between you can put like a tuna or anything like a rice sandwich kind of thing and then you just close it and keep it a shape I thought it would be really cute to put it in, the, in her lunch box and then I also got two this um, spoon and fork and chopstick package so it comes with chopstick I know she doesn't know how to use it but she's getting there and then it comes with fork and spoon and it has its own cute case so she can just keep it in there because none of her lunchbox came with um, spoon or fork so I just decided to get this and you know just give it to her pack, pack this with her food and just put it in her lunchbox and I, I got one for myself too for work and also I got these hot lunch bowl from Target so I'm not sure how it's gonna be 
because I do want to send some kind of warm food sometimes for her. It looks like these. I do want to send some uh, warm, I don't know, like maybe soup sometimes depending on like what I'm cooking or spaghetti, something that I can keep it warm. That's why I wanted to get this one. And then, oh, it does come with spoon, I didn't know. But it's kind of, I don't want to break it. It's, it's not, right, do you push it? Oh, okay, so it's like this little spoon. It's kind of hard for kids, but I don't know if she can use her other spoon. But I, I thought it would be a good idea like if I want to make a curry for her or something like something different than sandwich So that's why I wanted to have this bowl. I also have I think two more lunch box that I purchased long time ago when she was a baby I forgot to bring it but um, one of them has this hot food option too so I will show you guys later whenever I have a ch chance but um, that one is really really good box but it's a little bit heavy and it's pretty big so I have two more lunch box just in case so that was it for her school supply on now her clothes now she needs more clothes still uh, we went to mall today it was so hard to find uh, clothes for her because she was she's in the size of in between toddler and um, I don't know junior I guess so in junior side the smallest is extra small which is four five five and the toddler size has 40 so 40 is a little bit tight for her and then the size 5 from extra small is the extra small is a little bit big for her so she was like in between and it was kind of hard for me to find clothes especially we went to Zara we went to Gap and um, also we went to H&M the, the, the sizes were a little off for her she is skinnier than a 5 year old she still wears like 40 on the bottom and then 5T on top it's just sometimes it's just all over the place I did find a few items but and then I will continue find more stuff and she also needs some shoes so the first thing I got for her is this little shorts um, this little shorts they are 4T and it's, it fits and also it, it has this um, adjustable buttons so that if it's a little too loose for her she can tighten it up and it was on sale it was like only seven dollars got this from Carter's Carter's and then I got another one similar also 40 but this one was a little expensive it was twelve dollars but it, it also has this adjustable adjustable waist thing so she can tighten it up and I got this really cute unicorn shirt I really love the material it's very soft and it's not very thick so it's very versatile she can wear it now she can wear it later when even though it gets a little cold because it has like this not long sleeve like halfway sleeve so I think it'd be really cute with the shorts I also got this jean Everything is unicorn for her now. She, this one has also unicorn. And I got this set from Carter's. It comes with this jean leggings and then this really cute yellow shirt. And they're very thin material. And then similar, this pink t-shirt comes with very cute leggings like dinosaur. No, it's actually cats. No, dinosaurs and cats and they were like a set and from Old Navy I got this cute shoes for her but I'm gonna get another one I need a white shoes for her so I'm, I got these cute yellow shoes and I got her two 
jeans. I never bought her a jeans because I just thought when they're going to preschool, the comfortable is most important. She has she has to nap at preschool, so I never bought a jean. But now, since she's in the kindergarten, she's gonna be she's gonna stay there until like one or two o'clock. I was able to buy some jeans, and I'm so excited. They look so cute on her. So I got this two kind of jean from Old Navy. This one was really cute because it has like this little detailing and she looked like an older girl and I got two leggings Old Navy always have the best leggings so I got one white color and one dark color because it's easier just matching with all the tops she has so I got just one each for now if I need more, I'll go back and get some. And also got this t-shirt. It looked really cute on her. She looked way older. <laughs> and also got this one from Old Navy. This one. And another one. this one so I really really love the material I hope you guys enjoy this video and get some idea if your little one is going to kindergarten and I also will update you guys when when we have orientation at school on 19th and I will find out what kind of additional stuff they need she needs and I will also update on that and thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see